Mobile secret surveillance is probably the most difficult form of surveillance to carry out undetected. As with all surveillance, the target has the choice of time and area in which to work. Successful mobile surveillance is a combination of a high standard of training, common sense and teamwork. The training must include radio, map reading and driving each facet being equally important. Only with such training and some experience will teams be able to carry out mobile surveillance for reasonable periods undetected. This film is designed to illustrate some of the problems presented by an alert target and we show the wrong way and some suggestions on the right way to deal with the problems when they occur. It should always be remembered that although the suggested correct solutions will increase the chances of a loss of contact, it is better in secret surveillance to lose contact than to be compromised and ruin months of painstaking investigation. Throughout this film, the target car used by the intelligence officer is a dark green Chrysler. The surveillance team are using three cars, a blue Escort, a brown Avenger, and a green Magnum. All surveillance operations can be divided into three parts. One, the pickup, Two, the follow, and three, not covered by this film, the housing. Here we demonstrate two different types of pickup. The first is in a quiet suburban residential area. The surveillance car is in a good position to see the target's departure. But when the target does leave, he makes the obvious mistake of moving off directly behind the target, and his presence is immediately noted by the target. A well-trained team will employ similar tactics to this, one car observing the address and the other two covering the most likely exit routes. The car carrying out the observations remains stationary when the target leaves, but immediately passes the information by radio. Von Blue out now, moving west. Brown Roger. Green Roger. A glance in the mirror, and the target sees no indication of surveillance. The target continues to the main road. As he turns, the other cars are able to take control of his movement, passing information as necessary. From green, we have control. Left and continuing west on the main road.
Blue Roger. Brown Roger, we're with you. Our second illustration is of a pickup in a more densely populated area, which gives the target many choices of route to leave by. Again, one car carries out the observation, and the other two are covering the main choices of exit route for the target. Here, the blue escort has used the natural cover and hidden himself amongst the parked cars, whilst observing the target's car and house. The target pulls away, and wrong again, the blue escort has pulled away far too soon. As the target moves on, the rest of the team join in. Line astern. This is giving the target identification on a plate. Let's see how it should be done. The observing crew see the target move off and report the move. From blue into the car now. Moving. And south. Brown, roger. Green, roger. The escort has remained stationary. The target passes the second car, who in turn sends the information that will enable the third car to take up the chase. From Brown, now moving west. Towards you, Green. From Green, Roger, we can take... Let's look at that sequence again, as seen from the target's rear-view mirror. He pulls away and moves off down the road. Nothing to arouse his suspicions. At the crossroads, still nothing. And at approximately one kilometer away from home, the green magnum pulling out to take control of the follow appears as part of the normal traffic pattern. Although he has seen nothing, the target has been under surveillance most of the time. Now we will look at the second part of an operation, the follow. We take up the chase further along the route as the target enters a busy roundabout. Here, the surveillance cars are able to merge into the heavy traffic.
In these traffic conditions, a target's attention will be taken up with his driving, not leaving very much time to check the surveillance. The target turns off onto a busy trunk road. The surveillance is still there, but well concealed. The target is now going to use a fairly simple ploy to identify any surveillance. He will turn off the busy trunk road into a very quiet back street and thereby deprive an unwary or untrained team of its cover and make detection easy. especially if this form of surveillance is used. Like a daisy chain, the teams are drawn into the traps. It looks exaggerated, doesn't it? It wouldn't happen to you, would it? But it does, you know. Now let's see how it should be done. When the target starts to turn right, a quick look at the map will show his most likely route and the alternative routes available to the team. Here is the target again approaching the turn. First and second cars continue straight. From brown, turning right. We're continuing. From green, Roger. We will hold back, then check. Green holds back out of sight. On the diagram, you can see the alternatives available to a team. But remember that brown and blue continued straight. The target turned. No one follows. He checks his mirror again. Still nothing. The green car is following at a safe distance should the target stop. The target pulls out onto the main road and is immediately picked up by the two cars that took the alternative route. From Brown, we have control. Blue Roger. Green Roger. Once the target is clear, the green Magnum pulls out onto the main road to rejoin the follow. Let's go further along the route and see what happens at a couple of busier junctions. We are a 
approaching a busy town centre. Maybe the team have closed up, fearing a loss of contact in the heavy traffic. But this is not the way to deal with it. The wrong way could by now be looking funny. might be if it were not for the serious consequences. Let's go back again and look at one solution to the problem. The target's route has taken him generally in a northwesterly direction. The crew of the lead car, being aware of this, check their map. And having seen the target commit himself to the main route through the town centre, Choose an alternative route to the next main junction. This is the route they have chosen. It gives them scope to turn right onto the main road at several points if necessary. On this diagram, you can see the car on the alternative route and the action the green and the blue cars take at the junction. In this way, no one follows the target through the junction. The target approaches the junction to turn right. From green, now intending right at the main junction. We're passing. From blue, we can take. Continuing north. Brown, Roger. We will now go on and deal with the dry cleaning sequence. Here, the target leaves his direct route and uses a series of quiet back streets to assist him in the detection of surveillance. Here is the target turning off the main road. The area, in contrast, is very quiet. No natural cover available for the surveillance team. Once again, they demonstrate the easy way. Easy, yes, but how wrong? Even an untrained person could detect this kind of follow.
Let's return to a diagram to see the answer. Notice how the crews, unable to anticipate very far ahead, use short progressive alternatives. One car always in contact with the target, but for the majority of the time, on a different route. In this sequence, the team's training is really put to the test. From Brown, a left at the end. Towards you, Green. Roger from Green. We have control. Right at the bottom, towards Main Blue. From Blue, we have control. Continuing on original route, northwest. Brown, Roger. Roger from Green. There, with good timing by the drivers and good map and radio work, the team were able to turn an ugly situation to their advantage. We will move on again nearer to the end of the target's journey. Not that our team know this. The target has been travelling quite fast along a busy trunk road. The Brown Avenger is the lead car, and the Green Magnum has been held up some way back at some traffic lights. As the target continues, he is fairly happy that he is not being followed. At the next roundabout, he turns off the main road, and left off the roundabout. The reaction is instantaneous. Front brown turning left off the main. That is south. Roger from green. The Magnum, fast approaching the previous roundabout, quickly checks the map. From green, we will take the alternative to the east. Roger from Brown. We'll stop a moment and see how the action develops diagrammatically. When the target turns in towards the centre of the town, Green turns in towards him in a pincer movement. Now watch the move develop on the road. From Brown, still straight towards town, about one kilometer to the roundabout. Roger from Green. We're standing by east of the town center. 
Brown Roger. The target turns in towards the town center. From blue, now left, towards town center. Green, Roger. Brown, Roger. The target is slowed down by traffic. He is still looking. From brown, right. Then left, towards you, Green. Roger from Green. Do Roger. The target is now satisfied that he is not being followed. From green, now into car park. Brown, roger. Blue, roger. Whilst the target is absorbed in parking, the teams park. As the intelligence officer walks away, the teams go into the final phase of an operation on foot, the housing. What is the target thinking? Has he spotted them? They cannot be sure. They cannot relax. Neither can you whenever you are engaged on any form of surveillance. Successful surveillance can only be carried out by alert, well-trained officers. Make sure you are one of them.